Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Is this thing on? How are you guys doing today? Now, I've got a few uh, XRP related items to show you and a um, little bit of hopium here. A little bit of hopium, which is actually fact. So I, I want to show you a chart. Um, that's the main purpose of this video. It's very simple. You can stop watching once you see this chart if you so desire, or you can keep watching if you want to know a little bit about XRP news today. All right, before I move on, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the big red subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on my newest videos. Sincerely, Crypto Mike. Let's go. All right, now look, Bitcoin recently jumped up. It was in a triangle pattern, okay? From this top to here to here, it jumped out of the triangle pattern, which is very bullish for Bitcoin, very good for us. Uh, looks like we're not, it's not going down. It's not going down, not just yet. If it does go down, it's not going down, not just yet. Now. Now the pattern that it's in is looks like an ascending triangle pattern. Okay, we have the top we have the top line here. It's somewhat of an ascending triangle pattern. Okay, we can start right here, move over to this way, okay? And then we have higher lows, higher lows, and it looks like it's going to be breaking out to the upside, probably going up to maybe 16,000. Probably we're going to hit the top of this 14,000. Then we're going to probably come down a little and then up through it. My guess. That's just my guess. Based on the uptrend in volume, okay, okay, I would have to guess that we are probably somewhere around right here as ter in terms of volume. Um, we came down. Look, let's see. Came down and then coming back up, okay. Came down a little, coming back up. I think we're going to hit the top of this, okay, and then we're going to come back down, like right here. We're going to come back down a little. Volume's going to slow down, and then we're going to break through it. Volume's going to pick up just like right here, and then we're probably going to go up to maybe 16,000 or so. All right, now, the reason I tell you this, I know most of you guys are into XRP as well as I, as I am. But we still do follow Bitcoin, of course. Uh, XRP is mostly sold and bought with Bitcoin for the most part. Um, now, let me show you the XRP chart. And let me tell you what I'm excited about. I haven't seen anyone mention this yet. But this is very exciting because this is a clear indicator to me that we are about to see a jump in price like, like we haven't seen in years. And this is very, very exciting, guys. I am super excited. And for this reason, among many, many other reasons, I recently reallocated my profile mostly into XRP so that my my portfolio is just about 50% XRP. Now, it used to be only 20%. Uh, recently just reallocated many different assets into XRP all right um, now for this reason look at this for this reason I'm super super duper excited about XRP now check it out against Bitcoin okay XRP has had much of much more of a wild ride than against the US dollar okay now the US dollar is a stable coin basically right because most all you know stable coins are pegged to the US dollar now it is inflationary, of course. Some would say eventually it's going to become hyperinflationary, and one of those people would be myself included. Um, now it's not hyperinflationary yet, so it's still pretty decently stable um, as far as currencies go. Um, now Bitcoin against Bitcoin against XRP, it's been a little more of a wild ride. Bitcoin would be the one in the orange, and U.S. dollar would be the one in the green. OK, now I want to I want you to see what the correlation is here between the U.S. dollar and Bitcoin on the XRP chart. OK, XRP based against the Bitcoin 
and against the US dollar. Okay. Now, when Bitcoin goes up and XRP stays down, okay, the, the orange line goes down. All right. Okay. When the orange line goes down and the green line's going up at the same time, that means against the US dollar, XRP is doing well because what's happening is Bitcoin is going up and Bitcoin is dragging the rest of the market up with it in Satoshi value because most cryptocurrencies are paired against, I think all of them are paired, or well not all of them, but most of them are paired against Bitcoin, okay, the king of all coins, right? Um, so what happens in history, we, I can show you is a fact. What happens when, okay, look, when, whenever Bitcoin, the orange line comes down to meet the green line, back here, it's, you can't tell as much, but it does rise in price, okay? You see a boost in price of the XRP. Whenever the orange line comes down to meet the green line and the green line goes up, because XRP is performing well against the dollar, yet weak against Bitcoin, because Bitcoin has such a large market cap, all right? Whenever the, the orange line comes down and the green line goes up, that's when we see a boost in price. Now, check this out. The last time Bitcoin, XRP against Bitcoin, came down below the green line, you see how the green line is just above the orange line right here? When they converge like that, that's when we see an extreme boost in the value of XRP price-wise against the US dollar and Bitcoin. And that's what happened here. Okay, they converged. The US dollar went above the orange line for a second and went whoop, all the way up to 350. What was the top there? 365. Now, look what's happening again. This is big because it's been coiled up and coiled up for a long time. Okay, it's kind of similar to this one. All right, it's very similar. Now look at this. This is this is the U.S. dollar. Look at the green line here. Look how it's kind of coming, curving down, curving down. Then it starts going upwards. Okay, doesn't it remind you exactly of right here in the middle of 2017? Curving down, curving down, curving down, starts going upwards, and it converges with the price against Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is performing well, and it just broke above 11,500. That's a good thing, because 11,500 is now, it was resistance, okay? Past resistance is future support, and vice versa, okay? So now it's a support. Now, if, if we go down and... If we if, if Bitcoin goes back down and bounces off 11,500, that's a very, very strong support. All right. Now, see how they're converging? I believe within a few days or a few weeks, XRP, possibly a month, but I don't think it'll be much longer than a month if it even goes that long without, without blasting off. Now, if it goes... I think it'll I think if this green line starts to show above Bitcoin, that's when our XRP will see its 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 day. That's when our XRP will make us very proud hodlers. All right. And I think that day is very, very near. All right. Now I believe we're gonna see something like this right here. Okay, that was a boost in price of 10% of 10x. Okay, that was a thousand percent, or actually it was like 1800 or something like that. All right, but it went high. All right, now we're at 40 cents. I believe we're going to at least seven dollars, at least nine dollars, probably about ten dollars or so. Maybe we might overshoot ten dollars. You know, that might be the peak. It might be the might peak out at 12, between 12 and 15. You know. Could be more. Could be even more. There's, it's been so coiled up. There's been so much good news. Based on good news alone, it should go at least above $10. Um, 
should go above fifteen dollars based on all the news, all the developments. Okay. Now for this, now you can stop watching now if you want. This is very exciting. This is for this reason right here alone. Okay, on the charts, you can find out, and you can, I mean, you can just logically assess it and see that whenever they converge, when Bitcoin's all the way up here, it took a while, but it came all the way back down, nearly touched the green line. Okay, came all the way back down, touched the green line. The green line went over it. Whoops. Anyways, you get my point. Okay, so that's what's happening right now, guys. And uh, I believe we don't have much longer. So I hate to be a broken record, but if you're thinking about getting in, see what's going on. Now, now that Bitcoin's going up again, XRP against the U.S. dollar is going to start going up again. The green line, though, I believe, I mean, the, the, the orange line is going to go downwards because Bitcoin's going up. XRP's kind of staying the same, right? It's not going up too much. However, once this line crosses it, that's when I expect to see huge gains in XRP. And I don't think that's very long from now. You see how they touched right here? Okay, now they're kind of coming towards each other again. And they're gonna they're gonna touch again very soon. And the green line will go above the orange line. And that's when we will see a massive boost in the price of XRP. Hoddle strong, my friends. Now I want to move on to a few different articles. This is news. Okay. Um so Ripple is, is starting, started a strong recovery above a 39 level. So 39 cents is the new support. Hopefully it stays above it. We'll see. It should, especially now that Bitcoin's going up. And Bitcoin should be pulling XRP up. All right. The, there's a key bullish trend line forming with support near 0 0.3920. The price is likely to bounce back above 40 cents, which it is doing right now. Okay. Okay, now I love this article, and I love how a lot of people are uh, pointing this out because this is the greatest time. This is the best time to get into XRP. If you're thinking about getting into it, there's no time better than right now. Not financial advice. The third largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization closed at 0.396411 on June 30th, representing 12.45% gains on the 2019 opening price of 0.352512 seen on January 1st, according to data source CoinMarketCap. Look at this chart. Bitcoin's been up. Bitcoin's up 889%. Ethereum's up 118%. XRP is down is only up 12 percent now what do experienced traders tell you to do buy the bottom sell the top okay so sure you can go and buy your bitcoin you can buy ethereum i wouldn't suggest against doing that no however xrp has had an extreme amount of good news an extreme amount of development in the financial technology world, the fintech world, all right? Brad Garlinghouse has been meeting with the IMF. He's been meeting with the the the, um, the BIS head. Uh, there's been so many developments, guys. There's been so many developments with banks. Banks shutting down the other day to update the uh, XRAPID. Uh, it was a system update for XRAPID, okay? All right, and maybe they were all, they were all implementing, okay? And that's probably what that's probably what Barrel Guy was pointing to here. Um, I know maybe some of you don't follow Barrel Guy. That's fine. Doesn't matter. XRP is still going to be successful. All right, but maybe that's what he was pointing to when he um, he put the July seventh moon here, uh, because the weekend of July seventh was the weekend that many many banks using XRapid were closed down, shut down. And there are also other banks not, who haven't been confirmed to use it. Um, many su suspect those are those are banks that are starting to implement it. They are going to be used. They just haven't they haven't confirmed their usage of uh, XRapid. So July 7th, 
something did happen. Maybe price action hasn't been realized yet. We haven't seen our 10x gains, our 100x gains. Not yet. That's fine. It's fine. But we have had developments. Okay, MoneyGram, we had July 7th. The banks were all shut down, most likely. And cross-border payments were shut down for for hours at a time, a day, days at a time for most of these banks. International cross-border settlements were not not able to be used by customers at that time that they were doing system maintenance. All right. Now, what better time to get into XRP? It hasn't gone yet. The others have started to go. Now, most of these, most of these, yeah, have been dragged up by Bitcoin. XRP really hasn't been dragged up by Bitcoin too much. What does that suggest? A decoupling. That suggests XRP is most likely more than any of these decoupled. Uh, maybe except for Binance Coin. Um, Binance Coin seems to have decoupled. Uh, especially when news came out about their blockchain. Um, Chainlink seems to have decoupled for the most part from XRP, not from uh, from Bitcoin and XRP. So those are the three I can think of right now that are most like just basically decoupled from Bitcoin and not, not to 100%, but pretty decently, okay? XRP is just waiting for its move. It's late, but great. It always comes late, but it's always great. Okay, it always makes big moves. XRP always makes big moves ever since it's been created. Okay, six years ago. All right, no, I just, um, there's a reason that I just want to show you my most recent video, a little clip from it. Once they can release more information about what's really going on, once the IMF, once Lagarde, releases more information you know now this this is the chart on uh, coin gecko of coins since their all-time high price all right there are still many that are down 88 percent 90 percent 95 percent and those are the ones to buy if they have strong fundamentals this the, the top will be blown off the pot and uh you know It'll be like the bottle, the bottle cap challenge. It'll just fly off, and then uh, yeah. So and we'll all just be happy. We're the ones in the bottle. All right. So uh, you guys, um, XRP is looking good. You guys, I don't care what people say. There's a lot of fud about it, as usual. You know, don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to the haters. Anyways, you should be glad you have haters. That means you're doing something right. Because there, there's always people out there jealous of you for being successful. All right? Yeah, stop the FUD, man. Just stop the FUD. Anyways. Uh, so, I'll tell you which coins to buy. And, uh, well, I will, not, I will not tell you what coins to buy. Because that would be financial advice. I'll tell you what coins I would buy. How about this? If I had 10,000 bucks, what would I put all my money in? XRP. So I would do that. I would put all my money in XRP, wait for that to blast off. And then, which coins are look, looking good, guys? Which ones? I would take profit out of that. However high it goes, no one knows. Everyone has a different opinion. I have a feeling it's going to go at least $10. Okay, when it really starts to take off, it'll probably hit. It'll probably kind of like slowly get to, we don't know. We don't, it's tough to tell really. That, but I'm preparing I'm, and I'm preparing. You're, all the banks are closed. A lot of the banks that use X-Rapid are closed. Um, they close down for maintenance. They have or, or they are, you know, this weekend. So it'll be interesting um, to see what happens throughout the, the next week and see if there are any more developments. If uh, flip is switched, if they start testing. I meant switch is flipped. What happens? July is supposed to be a big volatile month. Okay, so so you guys, 
basically my point there is that I'm so confident in XRP that I even sold my chain link. Okay, I have six X in my investment on chain link. Six, I've made over six hundred percent in profit, basically, or I guess that would be like five hundred percent. Um, I've made 500% profit on Chainlink already this year, or just over the past few months, really. Um, I was able to find it. I found out, found the community. I found out all the good things about it. I rode it all the way to 440 and came back down to 345. And I, I said, you know what? What's what's stopping me from selling? Since I already made my profit, I. I know it could definitely go much higher and I think it will. And that's why I will buy back in, but only after I use the money that I had in link to put into XRP because XRP is your best bet right now. Okay. It's in the top five coins. It's not going anywhere, but up, trust me. Okay. There's a possibility it could still go down. I doubt it. It could still go down a few cents, but in the grand scheme of things, a few cents is nothing when you compare it to $10 a piece, $10 for one XRP. Okay. Just wait, just huddle strong. Okay. Just hang in there. Okay. Cause there are haters, there are fudsters, and there's a lot of people who really don't, don't like XRP. And they, they say it's the worst performing asset of the year. Yeah, it is, but there's, in every market there is, you're always going to have people saying that, okay? And they're the ones who, they don't really think ahead. Look, look back at the charts. Look what happens with XRP. It happens every time. It dwindles down, it coils up, and then it blasts off every single time. Since its creation, it's, it happens every single time, okay? Now... I'll go on and let me check. I mean, tell you about this one. The new new ECP boss, Christine Lagarde, could enact Bitcoin friendly legislation. Now, this is from a Bitcoin maximalist view. Of course, Bitcoinist, they're going to relate everything to Bitcoin. All right. Now, honestly, though, she's she's not exactly Bitcoin friendly. She likes digital assets. She does talk about them, especially lately. Uh, however, she kind of doesn't really say the anything nice about Bitcoin, and that's a good thing for us XRP hodlers, okay? Although she is cryptocurrency friendly, she does believe in blockchain, and she does think it'll save us um, financially and economically. Um, it'll help a lot with our banks, okay? Bitcoin and crypto supportive legislation could be on the way now. Now, when they say Bitcoin, you know, people just throw throw Bitcoin around like it like it is defines the cryptocurrency world. It really doesn't. Okay, it does drag everything around with it. It's not going to stay that way for long. Remember, guys, Bitcoin's only been around for ten years. That's a small, small blip in time when you think about the banks and how long they've been around. Okay and how long money's been around, fiat, currency, you know, just all sorts of different financial systems we've had throughout history. This has only been around for 10 years. So of course, people talk about Bitcoin like it's the only cryptocurrency out there. Most people don't know of any cryptocurrencies besides Bitcoin. Even some people don't, a lot of people don't even know what Bitcoin is. If you ask, if you go up to random people on the streets, I mean, I'm guessing only five out of 10 people will know what Bitcoin is. If that, you know, I'm sure pro most people have heard heard about it by now. Um, they have been mentioning it in the news more often. You know, it will be mentioned in the news way more often uh, when the time comes that it passes its all time high, 20,000. It'll definitely be in the mainstream media much more. However, XRP is completely different and XRP is a very, very complicated yet simple coin and, um, you know, runs on XRP Ledger, Hyperledger, XRapid. There are just way too many positive implementations of XRP, okay? And it also has a big, big, very strong company backing it, all right? You guys, 
this is the revolution. This is a revolution. And basically, I'd, I'd say I'd have to say Bitcoin is like America online. If you were to compare it to uh, if you were to compare it to the Internet, the, the big Internet companies of the Internet boom, um, the dot com bubble and all that, I'd say it's probably AOL. Okay, it's the pioneer. It's the one that came out and everyone was using at first. And that's all anyone talked about because it was so revolutionary. Yet, it's kind of like dial-up. Kind of like dial-up. Okay. Now, XRP is basically like uh, DSL. It's like, it's like uh, what's it called? The next one, you know, up from dial-up. Um it's just the fastest technology there is it's it's secure you know it you can, it can't be it's not prone to a 51 percent attack the ripple the company is transparent with everything it does for the most part okay there's still ndas non-disclosure agreements you know in place they can't just say everything because this is this involves the whole world not just america not just europe not just china not just japan not just korea the whole world, everyone in it, 7.5 billion people. It involves all of us. It's going to affect all of us in one way or another. Okay. All right. So uh, the next thing I want to tell you about is Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank is firing 18,000 people today. Today, 18,000 people. All right. Now, the significance of that is that they are the 15th largest, 15th largest bank in the world. Okay. Deutsche Bank. Let me tell you just right now. Okay. Deutsche Bank is going to be the catalyst. This is the catalyst. It all starts right now. It's all starting right now. The financial reset starts now. And Deutsche Bank was the trigger. Now, I didn't pull it up yet, but I will pull it up right now. The S&P 500 is going to start going down, in my opinion. People are going to get scared. Okay, because this is the next, this is the same thing that happened in 2008 with the Lehman Brothers. S&P is, is down. I believe, give it, let's see, it's at its very top, it's a quadruple top. Investors are gonna start selling off. This is gonna be scary. People are gonna start buzzing about this being the next Lehman Brothers. Okay, this could be the catalyst. You know, unless, I mean, that's the thing, when quantitative easing, if that kicks in, you know, when they when they lower interest rates, um, there it's gonna be uh, they're gonna lower it 0.75 to a whole point, and um, banks will be earning 10% less. So it's a very delicate balance that the Federal Reserve is trying to accomplish, and it's very it's very difficult for them to balance this all out. Especially now that the uh, the president is blaming them for what's happening, he he keeps pointing the finger at them, and it's true that they are they've been messing around too too long, too long with the U.S. dollar with the rates. Uh, you know, they need to lower them. The dollar needs to be stronger. There, it's going to weaken the dollar really. Okay, that's the stock market's going to go up. It's a very delicate balance, but this could all come crashing down any moment. And for that reason, if anyone's in the stock market, you might you might want to look elsewhere to put your assets, not financial advice. Just um, be very cautious and keep an eye on it. Don't let it go for too long. You know, this would be a great point to sell at. It'd be a great point. Anyways. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to let, let that be the end of uh, 
this video. Now, thank you for being here. Um, appreciate it. Also, if you do enjoy uh, the content of my YouTube channel, you will also enjoy the content of my Twitter. And uh, so for that reason, I would like you to come and follow me on Twitter. Um, also posting good stuff, okay? I'm always retweeting things, all right? I'm always posting technical analysis, like waves right now. <laughs> Strong by, I, I painted that right there, but it's right here. Hit the top already, hit the resistance, came back down. It hit it first time, came back down, went up more, hit the next resistance, came back down. Volume's picking up, waves is great. You know, so just things like that, okay? Um, so you guys, uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And uh, please, you know, go ahead, feel free to share it with anyone, post it on Twitter, I don't care. Actually, I would love it, I would love it, it would be awesome. Now, the main thing I really want you to do is please give me a chance and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And I think eventually down the line, if you're on the, on the, on the line about it, I think eventually you will thank yourself for subscribing to my channel. I do always put out a lot of useful content, okay? All right, now you can also go into the Telegram, click that, join the Telegram. Mucho, mucho useful content in the Telegram. A lot of stuff you will not hear anywhere else. All right? Including technical analysis, fundamental analysis, um, and stuff like that. All right? Now, thank you very much for being here. Uh, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Have a great day and be good people. Crypto Mike out.